Ocean, your one-stop show for the top of the top in a video game universe. When you're depressed, you can either medicate yourself or beat the crap out of something. There's a third option, video gaming. In this episode of Top 5, we explore the best antidepressant video games. What the fuck? <laughs> Number 5, Robot Unicorn Attack. If you got the blues, then you might just need a bit of magic in your life. Tech magic, this splendid piece of art imitating fantasy could keep you busy for hours without you even realizing it. With its sweet, never-ending story-like reminiscent soundtrack and the soothing sound of hooves clashing against solid ground, you'll forget your problems before you know it. The worst thing you can get out of this is personal rage for dashing when you should have jumped. Robot Unicorn Attack is perfect for those who are emo on the go. You can play it via mobile device or on your work PC. Both are free. That's a good price. Number 4. Rock Band Scientific fact, singing can help with depression and anxiety. It also helps significantly lower blood pressure. You know what else can help? The clack clack of shredding a sweet plastic button guitar like a maniac. Or the pity pad of pounding on electronic drums like a giant pink muppet. Pick up a fresh copy of Rock Band and jam your sorrows away. It's like a regular at-home therapy kit. With the sheer amount of songs in the Rock Band library, surely there are plenty of tracks that you can wax and wail along to to help you get out these deep, burning feels chewing away at your happiness. Rock it out. Number 3. Ico. A solid work of interactive art can be quite the unexpected pick-me-up. Where there are some dark aspects to Ico, the companion aspect is so adorable and light that you might find your tears running down your face or in fact tears of joy. Fitting off the near formless, faceless Stygian blobs can represent any manifested form of turmoil and trial you may have going on in your life, and you can beat that. Ico is not some head and shoulders, muscle bound, overconfident, ultra able body hero. He is small and thin, but persistent and willing to push through and protect. That's something a lot of us can relate to. Number 2 NMMO there is a lot massive multiplayer online gaming has to offer when it comes to fighting depression. Land exploration, fetch quests, currency farming, raids, level grinding. Those things alone will help you forget a lot of stuff real fast. Look how many South Korean parents forgot to feed their children. The best thing MMOs have to offer is a sense of community, especially if you're a part of a guild. MMO guilds are littered with all sorts of interesting, socially random, and like-minded people from all walks of life. They accept you for you with very little judgment, unless you're a dick. If you are an inner guild, spark up conversation in the global channels. They're almost always guaranteed spontaneous laughs. Number 1. Dead Rising 2 when you're depressed, you're bound to have all sorts of crazy emotional mood swings. One of the best ways to deal with any emotion is to beat the living shit out of something. If you can't find something legal and alive, then find something living dead. The fun zone of Dead Rising 2 is the fact that there are so many different creative ways to disembowel your unfortunate flesh-eating victims. In the end, you can actually feel better about yourself. You freed them from the monotony of shuffling along, moaning, and groaning about. The real reason the game is such a joy is because you can imagine you're getting revenge on everything that has ever done you wrong and put you in a sad state. Take that, sadness. Well, that's it for this episode of Top 5. Are there emotion-freeing games you think should be on this list? Well, then subscribe up top and vote on Ranker's Top 10 Games to Play When You're Depressed in the link in the description below. I'm Flitz, and you'll hear me next time.